okay we have here a past uh, past paper we want to tackle this question 8 part p which says that um, figure one shows a cooling tower determine the volume of airspace in the tower if that eight percent of the space is used for pipes and other structures so that is the question so i'll try to sketch the tower sketch the tower that is given sketch the tower sketch the given tower so um we have been given dimension this is 20 20 meters and then we have also we have also been given this from this up to this point this is 10 10 meters then this one is uh, 28 28 meters and then we have been given here is this is uh, 8 meters 8 meters now we need to find uh, we can complete this cone we complete that cone and then uh, so so we have two we have this part of the cone and then from here up there is a cylinder so we know that um, um, the volume of the cone the volume of the cone is given by a third by r squared h and uh, the volume of the cylinder the volume of the cylinder is given is given by 2 by r h <clears throat> now um for us to get the volume of this cylinder from the cone from here up to here including the cone that we have added so we need to find the linear scale factor linear scale factor will be equal to we have from this point up to this point is is 20 meters over we can have the smaller part which is eight so this equals to four here five four here two so the linear scale factor equals to five over two so we shall use the linear scale factor for us to get the the height of the smaller cone that we have added we can let this height be k like that that is k so from the given information if from here up to is 10 from here up to is 28 so here is 18 18 meters therefore we shall have the height of the larger cone from here up to that it will be 18 plus k and then over the small the height of the smaller cone uh, which is k must give us the linear scale factor which is 5 over over 2 when we cross multiply here 2 times 18 we have 36 plus 2 times k we have 2k must be equal to 5 times k 5k therefore that 6 equals to 5k minus 2k that 6 equals to 3k k equals to that 6 all over 3 which equals to 
to 12 meters. So we are saying that uh, from the cone that we have added, it has a height of um, a height of 12 meters. Therefore, um, we can get the volume of the larger cone from here up to the volume of of the larger of the larger cone. Height will be one. Of course, height now height equals to 8, 18 plus 12, which equals to 30 meters. So it will be equal to the volume of the cone is given by r i, pi r, pi r squared h. So we have 1 all over 3 times pi times r radius from here up to is 20. So radius will be 10. So it will be 10 squared times height, which is, which is 30. So this equals to pi all over 3 times 100 times 30. This equals to, we we'll use our phone to calculate that. We we'll use the phone to calculate that. So we have, we have pi, pi, We have pi divided by 3. Pi divided by 3 times 100 times 30. So this equals to 3141.593. So this is the volume of the larger cone from here up to, the, to that point. So we can also get the volume, the volume of the smaller, the smaller cone, the volume of the smaller cone from this up to that. So it has a height of, so h equals to 12. So the volume is given by a third by r squared. So our r, r here is from here is 8, so r is 4, so it will be 4 squared then times 12. Times 12, so we can use the phone again as to get the volume of the smaller cone. So we have, uh, we have, uh, pi divided by 3 times 16 times 12 is equals to 201.062 meter cubed meter cubed so now we have the volume of the larger cone and the volume of the smaller cone so we can now subtract can now subtract can now subtract so uh, we can say volume volume of of the larger larger cone minus volume of the smaller the smaller cone so it would be 3.593 minus 201.062. So here we have 1, 3, 5, 0, 4, Car one the eleven minus two nine, then we have two meter cubed. So this area, this volume is for from this from this up to that. So we have now the volume of the upper part of the tower. 
Therefore, we can now get the volume of the, the cylinder from this to that point. We say that the, the volume of the cylinder is given by 2 pi r h. <coughs> volume of the cylinder equals to 2 pi r h. So h equals to n meters, which equals to from here up to 10 meters, then diameter to indice or radius is 10, r equals to n. Then our volume is equals to 2 pi times 10 times 10, which equals to 200 pi, which equals to, we can use the phone again to get the the volume of the cylinder which is 200 200 pi which equals to 628.319 meter cubed so total area of the tower total volume of the tower be equal to two ninety four point two ninety four zero point five three one plus six twenty eight point three one nine so we have ten car one four five eight eight six fifteen three meter cubed so this is the total volume of the the tower but the question said that uh, the question said that uh, uh, that eight percent of the space is used for pipes and other structures at eight percent of the space is used for pipes and other structures so um so we are getting to, we are going to get that eight percent of three thousand five hundred and sixty eight point eight five zero meter cubed so we get thirty eight percent of a hundred times 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 that five sixty eight eight five so we get that eight percent of that so we can also multiply that so we have thirty eight divided by a hundred is equal to that times times that five six eight point eight five so this equals to equals to five six point one six three meter cubed <clears throat> so this is the this is the volume that is used for this is the space that is used for uh, pipes and other structures therefore the the volume for for the airspace would be equal to three five six eight minus one three five six point one six three we subtract here ten minus three we have seven here in fourteen minus six we have eight seven minus one we have six and then uh, eight minus this we have two five six minus five we have one here we have two here we have two meter cubed thank you for listening bye bye